Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series. As always, I'll be covering today's brand new Red Dead Online update and sharing everything that you guys need to know. And finally, 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 we have made it. We have made it to the end of Outlaw Pass 4. This is the final week. Guys, this three and a half months has just felt like the longest time ever. I think most active players probably finished the last DLC in like a day or two, so there was just not enough content to keep people satisfied for the past three and a half months, and especially removing those daily challenges, I feel like we lost a lot of the veteran players over this period. It's, it's just felt like a pretty rough period for Red Dead Online. And Rockstar have also hinted that we can actually expect the next DLC very soon. Alright, so let's get into today's update. The theme is all around infamous and legendary bounties, so we've kind of come full circle here to be ending this period with this again. Rockstar said, This week marks the final seven days of Outlaw Pass number four, and a brand new set of rewards is just around the corner. As you guys have probably seen from every Red Dead YouTuber at this point, Outlaw Pass 5 is already in the game, it's just waiting there ready to go with all the rewards in it. The next Outlaw Pass is confirmed to have role XP boosts, which means it has to be released with a new role or a role extension, and we're all expecting the Trader, um, 10 new ranks of the Trader expansion. As an incentive for logging in and playing Red Dead Online this week, Rockstar are giving a free treasure map and also 5,000 XP to help push towards rank 100, unlocking the coveted Mormont outfit. So if you guys have not reached rank 100 already, this week is your last opportunity to complete that and unlock those rewards, otherwise those rewards will be lost forever, so that 5000 XP will help you on your way. But for all the veteran players out there, this is probably absolutely useless for you. Meanwhile, all Red Dead Online players this week will receive a reward for a free ability card to help them thrive in the wild. Again, another rubbish reward here, who at this point doesn't own all the ability cards? Moving on to the bonuses this week. Bounty Hunters can make a killing several ways this week. Firstly, all licensed Bounty Hunters will receive 2000 roll XP along with double roll XP for completing any bounty, plus an offer for 30% off an established or distinguished Bounty Hunter item. First of all, where's the cash bonus? Who cares about double roll XP here, honestly, once you've completed those 10 extra ranks, which only takes you like a day or two normally, those roll XP boosts are absolutely worthless. Tracking down legendary bounties will yield rewards all on their own, on top of the aforementioned double roll XP. Headhunters will also earn double the usual ability card XP for playing legendary bounty missions over the next 7 days. Guys, double ability card XP? I think this is the first time Rockstar have ever done this. Are they just running out of ideas at this point? All players care about is cash. Give us cash and gold bar rewards here. <laughs> like, where do they come up with some of these ideas? Anyways, moving on, those in possession of a prestigious bounty hunter license can also mount up and recap the same benefits on all infamous bounties, which are deeper three-part missions to track down wanted criminals. Head to the following bounty board locations and scroll to the third poster access and then hit up down to begin tracking these infamous bounties. And here's basically a full list of all the locations you can find these infamous bounties at. Don't worry guys, I'm not going to read all these off just to hit the 8 minutes mark. I probably would have grinded some of these this week if we had some cash bonuses, but I think considering we're just getting roll XP, I don't know if I really care enough to actually grind these out this week. Whether you gun these criminals down or apprehend them alive is up to you, but either way, in addition to the cash reward, turning in any legendary bounty will lend you a gift of 25 poison throwing knives and 100 rounds of express rifle ammo. Head to your local bounty board to peruse the undesirables and launch your next skirmish, and there's just a very small incentive for actually completing a legendary bounty mission this week. Next up, a new source of employment, telegrams. I got very excited when I saw this section, I thought finally we're getting some new telegram missions. However, they're just actually running a very lame incentive on completing one of the ones they've already added. Rockstar said, if you haven't already added a new source of employment telegrams to your satchel, be sure to check your mailbox, either at the camp lock box or the local post office, for word from your mysterious pen pal Jay. Completing Outrider by successfully escorting a delivery wagon from Brittlebush, troll any time before March 15th to earn you an offer for 30% off the Bounty Hunter wagon. 30% off a Bounty Hunter wagon? Who doesn't own this at this point? I don't know why Rockstar insists on always giving us these coupons for trash discounts that we already own stuff and acting like they're good rewards for doing so. But anyways, moving on to the discounts this week, we have 40% off the cost of all rifles in the game, 30% off all Bounty Hunter weapon variants, 30% off all offhand holsters and the reinforced lasso, 
and lastly 30% off all ability cards and also ability card upgrades. Arguably that last one could be one of the most useful ones we've got this week. The fact that you can actually get 30% off the ability card upgrades is pretty nice. So if there's any ability cards you want to rank up to the max tier 3, make sure to buy those this week. But yeah guys, although the update this week is pretty rubbish and probably should have been thrown straight in the bin, I am pretty happy that we are finally at the end of Outlaw Pass 4 and it sounds like we are getting the next DLC pretty soon, as Rockstar said, around the corner. I actually wondered if we would be getting it directly after this one ends, so next Tuesday on the 16th of March, that would be the day after Outlaw Pass number 4 ends, but usually Rockstar likes to give us about at least a week notice on some of these updates, sometimes a little bit more, so I'm actually hesitating towards it might being the following week, and considering we actually have no mention of what the new update will be, but I will be keeping an eye on the news wire this week, just in case Rockstar do an info drop or something that, like that a bit later on in the week and I'll be the first to let you guys know. So if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future breaking news. Have a great day guys and I'll catch you in the next one.